Braden Garnett's world is often a lonely one. Diagnosed with Asperger's, dyslexia, and a condition that causes misalignment of his eyes, other kids can be cruel. School, I struggle because people call, are calling me names. I'm getting bullied constantly. What do they say to you? Telling me how I'm a cross-eyed freak and I'm not good at kickball. It's hard, huh? Brayden's 11th birthday was coming up. His mother hoped this year would be different. How many kids did you invite? 36 total. How many said they would come? As of two days before, only three were going to be there. That's happened every birthday since he was five. This year was different. I sent an email to Detective Eaton, Pekin Police. They've got someone who will be there till five. What about this email caught your attention? I thought, you know, if that was my child and nobody showed up, what, what would I say to him? So I thought, we can do this. Detective Eaton spread the word to the beat cops. They were talking about this uh, special kid, Braden, and how neat it'd be if we could go and surprise him at his birthday party. The cops called the fire chief. We put it out to the guys, and uh, within just a few minutes, we had uh, uh, three guys that said, yeah, we'll show up. Why bring the big rig? Why not? Uh, go big or go home. Big is what they did. I got you! More than a dozen Pekin police officers and firefighters played paintball with Braden for his birthday. I'm out! They brought their kids, pooled their money for presents, and for just one day, Braden forgot his daily challenges. And so did these officers. It's tough being a cop right now. It is. What do you tell your kids about being a cop? Was this about a birthday party or was it something more yeah. for you? Awesome. We are people, just just like him. Real struggles, you know, real feelings and uh, real families. Kyung Law, CNN, Pekin, Illinois.